Welcome to Yokomo, an ETS online course on a competence-based development for youth workers. Hi, my name is Nerius and I'm one of the creators of the online course on competence-based development for youth workers. I would like to introduce to you YouthPass and explain how you can use this tool to reflect and describe your competence development should you participate in international youth work training activities funded by Erasmus Plus or European Solidarity Corps. The Youth Pass was designed to support participants' reflection and recognition of learning and is now used throughout different range of projects funded by these two programs. Usually, organizers have to add the project to the Youth Pass platform by editing project details, such as basic information or more specific details about aim, objectives, project activities, and some optional information. Once the project is added, organizers can add participants and invite them to uh, edit individual part of the youth pass. So if you took part in international youth work training activities, you should receive an email invitation from organizers to add your specific individual learning to youth pass. Following the link from an email, you will access possibility to add your youth pass individual part. Here you can edit basic information about you, add optional information should you wish. You can also add information about your organization and your specific role within organization and then proceed to describing your learning in relation to key competences. Youth Pass uses European key competences, which is a framework also used in other sectors of education, let's say higher education or school sector or vocational education sector. The idea behind this is to make bridges between different sectors of education and be able to better connect. You will find several competences offered should you wish to use them. You can think about your learning related to the training activity and try to relate to specific competence. If you are not sure to which competence learning can be associated, you can always check by clicking and then seeing some keywords which relates to specific competence. So if your description of learning matches some of the keywords, maybe that's a place to put this learning. Uh, you can uh, choose which boxes to fill in. If you will not fill in something, it will stay uh, not visible on Youth Pass certificate. So don't be afraid if you cannot identify any learning in a very specific competence area. It is advised to describe your learning from the first person's perspective by starting, let's say, I have learned this or that while participating in workshops of training. And the more specific you name, the better because then it's easier to relate for outsiders. Uh, think that someone else who maybe didn't participate in a training course may read about your self-assessment and your competence development. So make sure we understand the context in which you learn something specific in that or another competence. If you find something difficult to relate to specific competence, you can always use the extra uh, competence box for uh, something which is difficult to place uh, in relation to key competences. So you can use this box to add any other learning which you want to highlight from the training course. Once you complete your self-assessment and reflection on competence development, you can also add information about your dialogue partner 
Should you have someone in a training course to reflect your uh, experiences together? So you can add information about uh, that person. Of course, it's good to agree that you want to uh, add this person as your reference person, should anyone would wonder about your learning. And add some more additional information. This can be any links you obtain, uh, presentations or anything extra you want to add to uh, your individual learning outcomes. Click save and submit. Then organizers will receive an uh, email saying that you have submitted your individual learning. And in case uh, they will still ask you to add something more or clarify, you can reopen and edit. If not, then they will be able to generate to you youth pass certificate and send it either by post or your email. So this is how youth pass works and uh, we really invite to use this tool even though you already have maybe qualifications uh, and uh, formal education certificates. Think that by practicing reflection and uh, uh, description of your competence development, you actually develop a habit. And then by having such habits, you truly become a role model for young people especially. We hope this video contributed to you learning about the competence-based development for youth workers.